Hello, Brandon Spickle is here. Today we are here with a server plugin tutorial. And today's plugin we are doing is called the Skin Restorer. And this is basically a plugin that you can change your skins and just, just rock and roll and just hide as pe people who hasn't got your skin. Or just hide as some, just someone in general. Or just change your skin if you can't be bothered to upload in uh, Minecraft.net. So, here's some commands. So there's six of them in total for this plugin. And for the player commands, there's skin, name, and you can set your skin in-game. And then there's skins, which is basically all your skins on a database, what everyone in your server has selected. Uh, and then, if this is the admins commands, if you want to set a player's skin, you can do SR for skin restore, uh, get player, set, set player, sorry. And then you can reload the plugin, and then you can return the properties to the player. And then you can drop that person's skin from the database. So if I just go to Forest S Skins, and here's the database, basically all the skins which I've basically spawned in. So if we just want to drop the cow skin, so SR drop cow. And now the skin data for player cow has been dropped. So if we just go to skins now, cow is not there. So let's do honeydew as well. Drop honeydew. And there he is. It's gone as well. And let's just change our guy to uh, notch. Skins. And then notch. And basically... It do, people who's got capes on Minecraft, you will get their capes as well. Um, so that's pretty damn awesome. The thing what I can't show you at the moment though, is your name above your head, it stays the same. So mine's going to be Brands Pickled still. Uh, like here, these citizens, what I've got here. Basically they haven't changed skins. They're basically related to me. But these do not change in a different server. So if you join another server, your skin won't be notched. It just be in the dedicated server what you have changed your skin in. So again, let's spawn a skin in. So forward to skin and then someone's name. So we're going to go with... I don't know. Um, Jebs underscore, isn't it? Is that... Oh, that's... A Premium players with that name does not exist, so it's it's just Jeb, ain't it? Yeah, it's just Jeb. And there is Jeb for you. So yeah, like it said there, um, it, no premium players, so it can't run as crack players, unfortunately. So it has to be a premium player, what is run on a website, so it's always there. So if you want to go for like, someone's, like, guess a name, it won't work, and etc, and etc. Again... If we just go to forward slash skins and you want your skin back, you can just click on remove. And you're back to you who you are. So if we just go to the actual spigot page now. So if we just go over there now. So three, two, one, bang. Bang. <laughs> Jesus. So here's the uh, skin restorer 13.1.2. It's been out of quite quite a while now so since 1.8 it's probably been longer if it's on the uh, bucket page uh, so it is always up to date it's, last update was actually yesterday at one o'clock uh, if you have got any problems you can actually go to his discord channel um, if not you can come to our discord discord channel and uh, get some information and that would be below because uh, there's a couple of de developers there uh, and then it tells you about the plugin. You can basically uh, restore skins from offline mode servers. So that's going to be good for Bungie servers because when you make a Bungie server, you have to make all your servers offline. Uh, and then here's some videos. So French video, German videos, Italian videos. And then you can have this plugin on Spigot, Craft Bucket, Paper Spigot. Taco Spigot and Sponge, and then your cloud servers, which are Bungie, Waterfall, and Flex. And that's basically how you set up on Spigot and Craft Bucket for Bungie, and then for Sponge. It's basically simple, really 
this person, uh, this developer, uh, has basically explained it really easy for you guys. And then here's some donations for him because he's done such a good uh, idea on this plugin and it's always been updated. And then how many downloads he's done, which is amazing, like holy Jesus, like wow. He's going for 1 mil downloads now. He's on 500, 500 and what K? 527k. Is that just amazing? And basically some comments. Some people are saying it don't work. Like I'm showing you here, guys. It's just working fine. If you, again, if you need any help, just tell me. Just basically tell me or go to the Discord channel and anyone will help you. Anyone. Cause everyone's friendly on Spigot. And so, if we just go to the files now, so skin restore, and if we start off with the player folder, and we will just refresh. Oh, nothing will show there because I'm not a skin. So if we just do force our skins in game, I'm just going to do this quickly, and I'm going to set myself as Sin HD, okay? And a database. Well, there we go. And this will show you. Now I'm actually Sin HD, like so. And if you don't want that all showing up, so if you feel like got 500 people who's changing their skin, that will show every single person on this database in this folder called players. So there's 500 players here. What's five uh, five bytes each? So that's going to literally build up your page. Your page might get laggy, uh, so you actually can connect it to a database, which I'll be showing you how to do that any second. And then here's all your skins. So again, this is going to build up everything on your folder. And it's going to just make it lag. Because this is even 1.0 round about. About 1 kilobytes each. Uh, and then let's go to our config file. So here. Uh, so the first one is... This option is to disable automatically the request and apply skins on join. So if someone has a skin and they join, they can keep that skin if they rejoined, basically. Uh, and the next one is enable forward slash skins without permission. So if you want everyone to have access to forward slash skins, uh, just keep that as true. But if you want it to be like a donation perk, keep it as false. Uh, then how long it will be in the database because it won't be in the database forever so they will remove the plug uh, the plugin will automatically remove or drop the skins which are on the database uh, and then the default skins so Steve is obviously the default because he's the default character but you can keep that false so when someone just basically goes random and it just goes straight to Steve you can make a list so literally just this kind of format, so like Brands Pickled or Sin HD or Notch. So that's basically how the format would go. Nothing, it won't be like comma, blah blah blah, comma, blah blah blah, comma, etc. It won't be like that because that won't read. So it has to be a new line with a dash and it makes sure to have a gap in front. If it doesn't work, just go to YML Purser, like so, like this, and it's a output here. If you've missed a space, so example, so like if you've done a space like that, it will give you an error saying about branch pickled is out of place and it is over here. If you just press space, 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 and there we go, it goes to uh, output, which means it's working. So let's put that back there. And then disable skins. So if you don't want any any uh, skins, like any offensive skins on your menu list, you can put them here. So if you don't like someone called, I don't know, Roger, uh, the Roger skin will not come up. Uh, here we go on Bungie. If you have a Bungie server, uh, basically you can connect it all up properly. And so you can basically have skins on all the servers you've got. So if I go into another server, like if it's a Bungie server, so it's the same IP. If someone has a townie and a faction server, you basically can...
Go to Towny, set yourself as a skin, then go to Factions, and you have to still have the same skin. So it will be all connected to the same database. And here we have here is a database, so I'm going to connect to a database now. So let's get my database information. So here's my host. A host, that's not host, that is a, that was my fault. True. And then we change the host to this. And then username to this. So username. And then password is, uh, database name, sorry, is this. And then password is this. You can change any of these, but if I was recommend if I recommend this to you, just keep it how it is, so it's easier to understand. And then you just need to reload the plugin. So the best thing is to do is to do sr reload and let it load up, and it will say reloaded here. And if I just set a skin and game quickly. Just need to reload the server. Sometimes it won't, like you can see here. Um, it doesn't allow it because it's basically a database. It's quite a big like function to do uh, in game. So you have to reload the server so it actually fully connects to the server. Because some plugins don't allow it because it's like, such a big... Um, performance to do connecting to a database so if we just reload the server which we're doing now uh, so it's just loading up now so that's just world guard error I still haven't updated it ignore that it's just telling me it's not fully up to date I'm using 1.1.11 not 1.12 1 so here no errors apart from uh, the world guard so if we just go to our server I know you won't be able to see this at the moment so I should be default skin which I am and let me just select a skin and skin in it <laughs> uh, skin let's go with let's gonna let's bring notch up again so let me just double check if notch is there on the menu menu There we go. It's now on the menu. Awesome. Uh, so if we just go to our database now. So here's our database. We've already connected. So if we just refresh our database, we have got a table here, which are called players and skins. So if we just uh, right click this, sorry, that was burped. And you'll see Brands Pickled uh, and which skin he is playing. So I'm playing in Nutch at the moment. You can actually change it in game if uh, change it on the database, but I would not recommend it. Uh, and then if we just go to our skins as well, so select a row, and you'll see all the values of skins. So there's brands pickled on the database, and then there's notch on the database. And that's basically it. If you don't want notch on the database, if you just go like delete to row, there we go. It's just literally that simple. Perform it with this arrow here. I didn't press the right command. Then press delete, crossed it off, and it will say save, apply. There we go. And now it will be there, apply again, finish. And then if we go back to skins, and then it's, there we go. It's not there now. Refresh. It's not there. Notch is not there on the database there. That's basically the plugin. That is literally the plugin. That's how simple and amazing this plugin is. Uh, sometimes. There is a bug, which is a client's bug. Bug? A, a client bug. Basically, it's a. You will not see your skin change in the server. So, the recommend you to do is just reconnect to the server. Reconnect to the server, and your skin will change, basically. Like, it worked for me perfectly. Uh, sometimes it won't work straight away for you. And basically, like I said, just reload. It's a client plug it uh, client problem not the actual plugin and I forgot to mention about the messenger messages you can actually edit so if we just go to messages edit and here's all the messages literally you can change all of this config so 
for an example, if you do not like the dark green and you like lime green, you can change it all to and A from and 2. Like so. I'm not going to just change them, I'm just going to change these ones. And then, if you don't want it, say unknown command, type help, blah 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 blah. You can change this to like, silly. Need help? <laughs> there we go. And then skin disabled, so this has basically just been disabled by the admin, so that's if it's an offensive skin or if you don't want a skin on your database. Uh, and then permissions, you don't have permissions. Basically, literally every single like message you can have on a plugin. And then if, if your plugin's outdated, it will tell you to update it on this. And then no skin data. And then reload the plugin. Basically, it's that easy. This plugin is really easy. It's really it's easy in general. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are a plugin developer out there and need a video, hook me up. Um, but yeah, if you are an amazing viewer, remember to leave the thumbs up. If you are new around here, please subscribe. It helps me out. And yeah, peace.